B'Shem Hashem Na'asem Natsiach. This year is dedicated for the health and well-being of my father, Shlomo Ben Kari, and all the sick. May God give them a full recovery. Today we're talking about an extraordinarily important topic, and that is paying workers on time. The Talmud Bavli on page 112, Baba Metzia, Kuf Yud Bet, says something outstanding. Kol HaKovesh Sachar Sachir Kilo Notel Nafsho Mimenu. If God forbid you owe somebody money, somebody came and painted your house, built your house, and you don't pay him, it's like you're taking his soul. It's like you're killing him. And there's a dispute amongst the whose soul is getting, getting taken here. Rav Huna Rav Chista, Chad Amar Nafsho Shel Gazlan. Some say the, the, it's the employer that's playing with his life because God is so disgusted that this guy came and you know, we have to realize people, sometimes they live pay t- paycheck to paycheck. This guy came and he gave his life. When somebody works for you, he's giving his life for you. Because time, is it, what is our life? It's the amount of time that we live in this world. So somebody that works for you, he's giving his life to you. God expects you to pay him on time. When you didn't pay him on time, God, it's such a severe mistake that God sometimes is going to punish very severely the employer is risking his life. Some say no. The person's life is in danger as an employee because right, he's living day to day on a day to day basis and now that you didn't pay him on time how is he going to eat dinner? How is his wife and children going to eat? So it's literally like you're murdering him, you're killing him because he's expecting the money. So all the Torah is precious, but this mitzvah Kabbalistically is very, very important. It's an ethical, moral, logical mitzvah that somebody that works for you, you need to what? Pay him on time. The Zohar goes as far to say that if God forbid throughout your life you had the habit of not paying people on time, when somebody worked for you, maybe you did dozens upon dozens and millions upon millions of good deeds in your life, but God is going to say, hey, just like you didn't pay people on time, I'm not going to send you to the Garden of Eden, to heaven on time. It's a very scary thing. God is going to, because God is our shadow. Whatever we do, it, it's like a karma, it comes back to us. And the Arizal goes as far to say that the same thing. Every day we ask God for peace and health and wealth and He should bless our children. But the same way, if God forbid, you don't pay people. You don't pay people on time. God said, "Why should I answer your prayers on time?" So also the Arizal, which is the greatest Kabbalist in the last five hundred years, he says, "When you don't pay people on time, it, God forbid, it's a, it's a blockage that your prayers don't get accepted by heaven because you're not hearing the cry of your employee, and God is not going to hear hear your cry that what you need from Him." So. We have to know the same way that it's a mistake not to pay people on time is a tremendous reward for paying them on time. So when I was learning with the Av based in Baltimore, Rabbi Shachatavich Shlita, he said that the Chavitz Chaim brings down that te- sometimes you could, there's loopholes in this law. If the employee doesn't come ask you for payment, if you didn't pay him on time, maybe you, maybe you forgot it's not such a big sin. It's not a, such a big mistake. Or if you don't have the money in your wallet to pay him in your checkbook, uh, again, technically you're not going against this But sin. But why should you ever owe people money? So the, the Dayan said, according to the Chafetz Chaim, it's good to even go borrow money or rush to the ATM nowadays. There's PayPal. There's so many easy ways of paying people because just like it's unfathomable that on Friday night, if you're tired, you're not going to say Kiddush. So if you have an opportunity to pay somebody on time, go out of your way and pay them on time. And I have a lot of general contractors, people in the construction business, and this is a terrible problem in our community. People are not paid on time, and everybody has mortgages, rent, 101 different expenses to pay. When you don't pay them on time, it causes Shalom Bayit problems, the wife starts fighting, and not only this, but I was asked specifically 
that I should also mention. If you borrowed money and somebody was kind-hearted and a gentleman and gave you the money, don't pay back his kindness with evil and not paying him on time. It's very important. The same way we need to pay employees on time and you have a... If somebody was a day employee, you have till morning to pay him. If somebody was a night employee, you have till sunset to pay him. Same way, let's say you made a contract with somebody to borrow a thousand dollars and you said, after a month, I'm going to pay you. Don't tell the guy, oh, come back today, tomorrow. Because more important than everything in life is to be ethical, moral, and love your neighbor as yourself. Just like you would want to be if somebody borrowed money from you, you would want to be paid on time, you need to pay them on time. If you were if you were the employee and you risk your life, wouldn't you want to be paid on time? So may Hashem bless us all to act in an outstanding and noble way and Hashem will bless us tremendously. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe.